Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Kara. Today we're going to do something super fun and simple involving paint, yarn, or string, paper, or canvas, whatever you want to put it on. We're going to do some string art and what you do is you coat your piece of yarn or string, whatever you have, in paint and you place it on a paper and then pull the string away and the paint leaves like this swirl that looks like flowers. Um, so let's see, I've never done this before, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, everyone, step one is we are going to take our paper plate and put paint on it. I'm going to use three colors. Yellow, purple, oops, and blue. I'm gonna put it just in a, a line like that because I am going to place my piece of yarn in the paint. Now I am wearing gloves, this is optional. And then what I'm gonna do, you can use a Q-tip or anything, but I am going to cover the piece of yarn with the paint. You could use a Q-tip, like I said, or a toothpick to do this, so you don't have to use your fingers. But since I'm wearing gloves, I thought, hey, why not? Do that. Take another finger. So now you have your piece of yarn covered in paint. I'm gonna take off my gloves. And we'll do the next step. So next, I'm going to take my piece of scrapbook paper. You can use any kind of thicker paper you want, cardstock or um, watercolor paper. You can use a canvas, but I wanted a background for my little string art. Um, and I'm not good at painting backgrounds, so that's why I decided to use the scrapbook paper. Now be careful with this step because you're going to take your paint filled string and hold it up and put it on your background. Now you're going to place it carefully in a pattern like so. And what you're going to do now is pull your string down towards you. Now it looks like I could have put more paint on my string, maybe a little bit further down, but let's see how this comes out first. Now you're going to pull it all down here. And it kind of looks like a flower, right? So I wanted to put the yellow to make it like a, a stem inside, if that's the, the right word, a stamen, a stem. But So that's why I put the yellow on the tip of my string. And then when you pull, of course, the colors move. So I am going to re reload, if you will the um, piece of yarn off camera and I'm going to put more onto my piece of yarn. So I'll have a longer and I could do um, maybe a bigger flower on this side. All right, I'm getting ready to place my second flower of string. And I made it longer. 
let's see how this one looks. It's trial and error, but it's also very easy and simple, so it's not going to take you a long time. Guess I should have put a little bit more paint around the blue. Hmm. I don't love that. So let's try again. Third time is the charm, wouldn't you say? I got an even longer piece of yarn this time. And I didn't go all the way to the end, so we'll see if that makes a difference. And I put more paint thicker paint on the string and I made it longer. So let's see this how this one goes. I wonder if we kind of put this down a little bit. If it'll get rid of that. Alright and let's pull this string. Okay, I'm going to try again on this blank piece of paper because the last two just didn't come out how I wanted. And okay, we are gonna do this, 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 and this. And I did see Maybe this will work. I'm going to put a piece of paper on top so there's a little bit of pressure on that. And then I'm going to pull the string out at the bottom. Like I did the other times. And then let's reveal what happened. Ah, okay. So this is like a flower as well. <laughs> and then here is the other side. I do like that too, but I love my first one still. That's my best one. This one on the left, that's my favorite. So there you go guys. There are definitely a bunch of different ways you can do this craft to have fun with yarn and paint so here's my finished product on my first piece of scrapbook paper this flower right here is my favorite out of the four that I did um, the second one I tried to make longer and it just didn't have enough paint on it, I think, or maybe I didn't stick it to the paper well enough before I pulled. And then this third one, I mean, it looks cool, but it's not what I was going for, which I did even, um, I coated my string for a longer section, and I tried to push it down a little bit before I pulled the string. Um, so I do like all of them, but the first one is totally my favorite. I tried to get a little too fancy with these. And then my last one that I did, um, still came out cool, but again, maybe too much paint because I tried to avoid what I did on the first, on the, um, my second and third attempts. And this one, I put a piece of paper over top and pulled through so these mirror each other give it a little more pressure. Um, so yeah, there are a bunch of different ways you could do this craft. Um, you can experiment like I did and try all these different things. Um, you could try doing just one color or I've seen some videos where you paint a canvas first. So it's um, 
wet and then you put your string with paint on top of it in a different color and that gives it a cool effect as well. Um, I'd love to see your attempts. Just tag us at um, Tuxedo Park Library Youth Services on Instagram and I'd love to repost some of your artwork. Thank you for joining me and next week I hope to see you again.